Okay, let's look at this problem. According to the U.S. Census, 66% of American adults between the ages of 35 and 54 own their own homes during the last quarter of 2018. A random sample of seven adults between the ages of 35 and 54 was selected. What is the probability that less than six of them own their own homes? First of all, um, we want to know less than six, so we would want to know the probability of x equaling five, x equaling four, x equaling three, x equaling two, x equaling one, and x equaling zero. So we would have to plug every single one of those into this formula. So we would basically have to work this formula six times and add those up. So this is where you want to use the complement rule. So we could use find the probability that x is 6 and x is 7 because there's only 7 adults in this sample. So we could find the probability of x being 6 and 7 and we know all of these probabilities add up to 1. So we could take 1 minus the probability of x being 6 um, and uh, minus the probability of x being 7 and it would give me this. So instead of having to do this formula 6 times, I could do it twice, add it up, and subtract from 1. So let's, uh, let's do it that way. And this is what, what we call the complement rule. So we're going to find the probability. Um, let's go ahead and identify what uh, our values are here. We have uh, n is 7, and we're going to do x. First, we're going to do x is 5, and then we're going to do x is 6. Um, P is 0.77, um, and Q is 0.23. So first, let's do 5. Okay, so six, seven, um, seven factorial over seven minus six factorial over six factorial. P is point seven. X is five. Okay, here's my information up here. Um, so if let's see. P, sorry, is 0.66 and Q is 0.34. So 0.66, um, and we're going to do 6 here and 0.34 would be 7 minus 6. So if we work that, Let's simplify here. So we're going to get um, on the bottom 1 factorial and 6 factorial. So that means we want to go down to 6 on the top to make those cancel. Um, 0.66 to the 6th and 0.34 to the 1st. So if we simplify that, and let's see if I can make that. I want to go a little smaller here. Um, I would get um, 7 times 0.66 to the 6 times 0.34. So the probability of it being 6 out of 7 um, would be 0.1968. Now we're going to do, let me do a different color. So um, 
we can see that this is a difference. We're going to do the probability of it being seven out of seven homes um, of adults. Sorry, we're not doing homes on this one. Um, so we're going to do we're going to do seven factorial over seven minus seven factorial over seven factorial. I'm just plugging in. Um, now, X this time is going to be 7. P is 0.66 to the 7th, and Q is 0.34 to the 7 minus 7. So when we work that out, um, these 7s are going to cancel, and you get 0 factorial on the bottom, and basically that is 1 divided by 1, which is 1 if you want to write it, times 0.66 to the 7th, and then 0.34 to the 0, which is also 1. So, basically... It is 0.66 to the 7th power, which is 0 0.0546. So now we have our probability of it being 6 and our probability of it being 7. But remember, we're trying to find the probability of it being 6 or less. No, the probability that it's less than 6. So what we need to do is we need to subtract out these two probabilities. So we're going to do 1 minus, because we want the probabilities of everything but 6 and 7. So 1 minus. 0.1968 minus 0 0.0546 and when you do that um let's see what I got um 1 minus 0 0.1968 minus 0 0.0546 you get 0 0.748 6. So the probability that x is less than 6 is 0.7486. So there's about a 75% probability that less than 6 of these adults own their own home.